aggressive tonight. You start off aggressive, set the tone for the team. Is that your mentality for the whole season, or is it game by game? I mean, you know, um, I feel like you know, it varies game to game, but you know, I want to have that, uh, or I say like a, you know, a level, like a level that I don't go under uh, with aggression. And I'm just trying to figure out the balance of it right now, but I'd rather be a little bit more aggressive and have coach tell me to pull it back a little bit and if have to tell me to, you know, get going. But like that's a little bit easier to process. So uh, just trying to, you know, trust the work that I put in and tap. John, I got a two-part question for you. Houston is a young, scrappy team. First of all, what did you guys do in the fourth that allowed you guys to pull away? And secondly, how good was it to see your buddy Bruno uh, playing pretty well for Houston? Yeah, I started off with Bruno, man. You know, I had to do a talk with Bruno, man. He wasn't jumping like that when he was here, man. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? I had to get on him a little bit, but that's, that's my brother, so I'm happy for him, you know, wishing him the most, most success he can have in Houston. Um, but in the fourth quarter, you know, it was great. Um, DJ was, you know, uh, turning us up defensively out there on the perimeter. And I feel like that just you know, turned everybody else up on the defensive end, you know, offensively. I feel like we can you know, do whatever when we're calm and um, space correctly. You know, we're just executing a little bit defensive game. Um, got us some easy buckets, transition points. You know, guys came together, played hard, and, um, you know, we turned, turned the juice up in that fourth quarter. So, uh, just credit to that. Can't rely on that, but that was what happened tonight. Hey, John, 24 points, and a lot of those came off of passes from DeJounte. Um, and you mentioned before how he gets you kind of hyped, gets you energized and all that. How's your relationship with him grown since the start of the season? Yeah, it's still growing, but, um, you know, it's it's doing well right now. Um, I feel like, you know, we got a good chemistry on and off the court. You know, I feel like our game fit well as well. You know, he has a great feel for the game. He's a natural leader. Um, you know, he has that dog in there, you know, when I see him out there playing hard and, a defensive monster making plays, you know, motivates me as well. Uh, so, like I said, I'm just happy to have him on the squad. Our relationship going well, so it's going to continue to get better. But uh, again, I'm, I'm just happy to have him here. He brings a lot to the squad, so uh, happy we can bring it, you know, bring it in on the win at home. So, it's a good way to start off. John, you're often a guy who you know can take a backseat to other guys uh, as they have, you know, nice scoring nights. Uh, for it to be you, um, what were you guys kind of seeing from Houston to, to get you those opportunities? Uh, I really felt like uh, tonight, you know, I just had a hot hand and coach was trying to get me, you know, get me going a little more. Just feel like riding, riding my wave out or you know, whatever you could say. Um, but, uh, you know, there's no necessary like pinpoint, right? It's just a flow, you know, certain, you know, one night it might have been DJ. You know, Trey was going a couple times, DJ got going. Um, so, you know. I feel like it was just in the Florida game. My teammates found me. They knew I was going a little bit. They wanted to feed me. The coach wanted to get me involved. So, um, you know, hopefully that can happen every night. But as I said, it varies from night to night. But um, we're going to take advantage of it when we can. It seems like Houston, uh, more than a handful of times, was, was attempting some like, coach rise type dunks. Um, were you surprised at all by that? And kind of how do you how do you handle that? No, I wasn't surprised at all. They got a, a bunch of great athletes over there. You know, we were ready for them to attack the rim. Uh, you know, they, like I said, youthful, they get downhill, they got good guards, you know, the handle and like I said, athleticism as well as a uh, couple of their big guys. So we were prepared for that. You know, we feel like we have some athleticism and, you know, strength and experience on our side. So let's try to combat it as much as we can, uh, could tonight, you know, um, come out there with a win. All right, so, um, John, can you speak to the fact of having basically two superb ball handlers out there on the floor with you now? It seemed like it was a lot easier for the front front court guys to get going with both Trey and DJ on the floor. Yeah, damn right. You know, two all stars, two guys that you know averaging a double double. DJ, uh, I think he's averaging triple double. Right, so I mean, you know, put either one, either of them on the ball, off the ball, can have them in, you know, the opposite. You know, one's on the bench taking the rest or whatever. So. Just having two high-level playmakers is, is, is at least for any ball club. I feel like um, we got the guys around it you know, to sort of to make it all mesh well. So we can, you know, we're gonna use you know, use them as they you know, as they play. And got high-level playmakers and trying to you know uh, just do what we can to, to make everything work. All right, your uh, team not not a great shooting night from three, but of course the defense on the other side a little bit more intensity. May look a little bit different for us outside um, this season for y'all. Does it feel different on the floor when you guys are playing this way with a higher defensive efficiency versus and maybe not shooting that well from three, but still be able to get a win? 
Yeah, it definitely feels different. Uh, I say first, you know, having guys like Aaron, UJ, you know, up in the front court getting steals, and then no take foul. Uh, it was also a little bit uh, nice to have, right, because we can get those steals and then turn them into offense too. So um, definitely felt different out there. And as I said, uh, being the back line of that defense, speaking and, you know, sort of just being that leader on that defensive end, it, it's nice for, for guys to, you know, get through screens. Um, you know, talk as well. You know, Dre has some some help out there on, on the perimeter. Um, you know, we can try, turn that into easy buckets on the other end. So I'm running. John, on the uh, Houston side of things tonight, right here, uh, Jabari Smith, uh, his NBA debut, Atlanta kid. Uh, what did you really see out there from him tonight? You know, he's talented. You know, watch him a little bit at Auburn. Um, you know, I feel like he has some of my game in there. You know, very crafty, shoots the three ball. Um, you know, I think he's with 19 or 20. So. He has a lot of time to grow in this league. Uh, you know, obviously wishing him the best, you know, except when he sees us. Um, but, you know, definitely very skilled dude and, you know, uh, has a future in this league. He continues to work and, you know, just put the time in. He'll definitely be around for a while. Any final questions for JC?